Hey guys, uh, it's uh, Tony again, Tony Lim here. So um, I would like to actually uh, make a some, some short of a uh, short video to share a little bit about what kind of types of uh, investment uh, group of people or even different types of uh, different types of uh, investors. So I hope you can hear me because uh, the wind here is quite uh, actually it's quite the, it's quite windy. So uh, I hope that uh, the sound is still uh, the voice is still okay. So uh, perhaps that maybe you, you can uh, let me know as well if you have any question along the way of my sharing, so I can actually uh, answer your questions. So uh, you can learn. And uh, if you cannot hear it clearly, uh, please let me know so I can bring it to another way whereby is the sound is even a little bit better. So hi, I saw you, uh, Chow Hien, uh, Wing Chun Xia. Hi, welcome joining. So uh, what is actually the type of investment at, or the investor that actually is in the stock market? Then uh, we always hear people say about stock investing is divided into three types that is actually for long term, short term or even a mid term investor. Do you heard about that? So what does it mean actually? So uh, in my in my understanding is that actually for those who invest in the long term, they actually uh, don't mind to let their money put it into works for a certain period of time. Most probably we can talk about at least three years, okay? At least three years, five years or ten years. Why I say this? Because as we understand that uh, normally in the in the cycle itself, in the, uh, in the stock cycles, it might perhaps take like at least three years or even five years, five years at least, for us to actually reach it to uh, that optimum point. So uh, just take an example, like if we actually saw a stock, hi Kingsley, so uh, sometimes we saw a stock, right? Perhaps it's just like selling uh, $3 perhaps. And uh, suddenly we, we bought it that it, perhaps it would be actually in the ranging part, okay, in the ranging uh, about three 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 dollars and fifty cent and to three dollars and uh, forty cent up to four dollars. It takes some time for them to realize to go up to six dollars or even go up to eight dollars itself. So uh, why is this so for a long-term investment? Why this happens? Do you have that kind of question? Okay, um, in my point of view, right, why this happened is because um, any stocks, right? We investing is actually we invested into a company. Do you agree with that? So uh, a company itself, they need time to generate their profits. So sometimes they will they will actually take a long time to uh, make their money. Okay, to, to, to make their profit itself. So uh, some companies perhaps when in a good time or in the sector actually is within in their in, in their favor, and uh, they will be making a good profit on that. So what, the, what do I mean is that because uh, in stock investings they were divided into different uh, cycles. Do you agree with that? Different cycles because uh, sometimes we might can see that a certain stock is performing quite well in a certain period of times. Like uh, example, we can see is uh, like technology. We talk about technology. Like in Singapore, we got Singtel. You know, we got uh, uh, Starhub. Then. Uh, Stuff. Okay, then for Malaysia, about Malaysia. Okay, Malaysia, we have what? <laughs> okay, so excited about this because I'm thinking a lot of things I want to share with you guys today. So in Malaysia, we have Maxis. Okay, we have uh, DG and etc. Those stock right actually is performing better, performing well during the uptrend. So at the downtrend itself, it's not performing very well. Do you realize that? So this kind of stock, can we go for long-term investment? That's just the question. Yes, I can answer you the the question. Yes, because. Be it is any kind of uh, stock groups that we invested, we need to give them time as long as we are investing in a long term basis. Hi, Danny, I saw you. Hi, Kralens, uh, welcome joining. So, uh, we are talking about the types of investors actually. So, um, right now I'm talking about long term investors and why it takes so much time to realize their profit. So, part of it is because of the cycle itself. Number one, number one is about cycle. And how about number two? Okay, number two is we talk about this company, they need to actually um, take time to invent some new product. For, for example, the more clear one we can see is like Apple. Okay, like Apple's, uh, like they are fighting very, uh, now they are fighting actually, it's a fighting war with uh, Xiaomi, Oppo, all those kind of uh, phones. Okay, we, we don't talk about that because now we talk about types, the most important to share. So long term is investment, at least we have to give, how many years? It's three years. Okay, so at least it's three years. So it's the best that we can give about five years. Why? Um, because I always share in my uh, sharing 
that normally in a three years to five years, right, there is a small crisis we happen. Be it we like it or not, that is like that. So in the mid terms, right, pro most probably we talk about seven years. So uh, in the long terms, that yeah, everybody knows about, everyone knows that is ten years, right? So every ten years we we have this kind of uh, market uh, crisis. Okay, so this is about long term. So how about mid term itself? So what is mid term? So what should we actually focus on? In mid term investments, right? Normally we need to actually focus. Uh, focus on those uh, company that we invested for mid term. As a, make, just take an example that uh, we invested in those uh, manufacturing company. You know, manufacturing like listed that they are actually um, produce product. And uh, those company itself, right? Uh, if we're going for mid term, it's better that we track our so called quarterly report. What does it mean, quarterly report? Is every three months that company will actually announce their quarterly report. And only end of the year, nearly December, then they will actually announce their annual report. So all those qu quarterly report, they will actually affect those company uh, uh, result in the mid terms. Okay. So if we are going for mid term investment, then we should actually focus on their uh, quarterly report to see whether from last year to this year, whether they got increased or not in their annual income. So if, no, sorry, in their quarterly income basis. So if they increase, if they increase in the quarterly um, income itself, most probably it will help to bring up their company uh, so-called revenue. And end of the day, this company's share price will increase. Okay, this is in the midterm. So we have to track the quarterly report itself. Okay, hi, Lowe Chong. Hi, um, Esmond. Hi, Winnie. So we are actually about sharing about what is the types of investor that actually we investing is like. We have three types that is long term mid-term and short-term. Then we have finished about what's long-term just now we're mentioning that we need to actually focus on those company that um, in their long-run basis to give them sometimes like three to five years okay to generate their kind of returns and mid-terms we know we have to track those quarterly reports although that we already invested in the company and we know that company is really good in their so-called background like they're already perhaps maybe it's more than 15% or the P is low but no matter how we still need to actually uh, track the quarterly report so that we be safe when we invest okay how about short-term investment okay short-term investment itself right is is like trading okay it's like speculating we speculate in those stock so it means right if today we invest in a short-term basis then what do we need to do is actually to track what is actually happening in the macro economic perspective this which is number one which is whereby we have to see what is happening like last uh, last week okay the last few days we can talk about not not last week last few days perhaps it's within a week's time happened which is the one mdb uh, one mdb issues right in malaysia so it causes that the stock market plunge drastically about 20 points within the daytime so um all this information right is we call it macro perspective or the brexit last time the, the, the England's exit and which would like to exit from Eurozone and uh, also for many CS we just talked about that so uh, all this information in macro perspective we actually will impact as they're one of the most important macroeconomies information will come out on 28th of July okay please knock it down 20th of July uh, uh, 28th of July yes 28th of July correct <laughs> I got it right so uh, that probably would be is about the FOMC meeting FOMC meeting which is in uh, in uh, this okay so my phone just uh, going to uh, well, dry out the battery already because I will take some time actually just now uh, just uh, just walking around you know and forget about the charge the battery first <laughs> okay so we just come back well so uh, we talk about this macroeconomy perspective is number one we need to actually focus on and uh, number two is about the stock investing for short term where am I <laughs> okay so the short term investment is we need to actually to track those company their performance like uh, first is like one YMDB case and secondly is we need to track their technical perspective what it means for technical perspective just take an example like um, a stock that we invested before for like for example I talk about PIE in Malaysia stock they one of the stock that I share in uh, share uh, stock sharing section and uh, I tell all the students whereby this stock actually have a share split so normally for those uh, stock right they have a share split and no matter it's the right issue or bonus and it will follow by uh, stock uh, price I mean 
depreciate or decline. So what should we do afterward is we have to really go and track the technical perspective whether it got volumes comes in or we can say that from the RSI or stochastic itself like in the technical sense whether they actually rebound so we can understand wow that is the time already for us to actually invest for those penny stock there are literally many ways but just one of the most important spec more important factors for short term what we call about uh, uh, short-term investment or penny stock is we need, need to actually really track the technical analysis so it's part of it that be it we like it or not we actually have to do that so this a little bit of short sharing about what how, kind of, how many types of actually investor in this so how many is like is we do a conclusion for, for, for that is like number one is about long-term investor number two is mid-term investor and the three is short-term investor long-term investor we need to actually give them some time because we understand the market is moving in a cyclical basis be it we like it or not it needs times to actually generate their profits and in order to fixtures into their annual report okay and the market is moved in a sector basis as we know those who follow my sharing section those who follow my advanced class they understand you know that the market is moved in a cyclical basis so like examples we know when the market crash right the financial sector will be first of the sector we actually crash and when it come back the overall market perspective then number the, against will be the first sector to come back is actually the financial sectors and they followed by the others like uh, consumers followed by technology basic industry and etc et okay so yeah this is all about that for those who invest in the long-term perspective we need some time so we need to put our money aside you know, so don't touch it uh, be it that market is droppings uh, we have to hold it on so for those who meet them then it's, it's all right we can invest in make them meet them but we do need to really focus on the quarterly report so the quarterly report will actually affect the share price so how about this uh, short term just now we talk about is the technical basis so we need to really focus on the, sh the technical perspective okay in the indicator so i hope you guys can hear me because the, it's very windy here so i i, I think this um, this scenario is quite good so i just want to do a quick uh, record and uh, hope that all of you we actually learn something and bring it back and bring some value to you so um if you think that this actually is good and just let me know just give me give me some uh, response and uh, just let me know also what do you want to learn in future perhaps you can put it in the comment side so I can actually share with you in the upcoming uh, my sharing section okay well I think this is all I want to share today about what uh, how, what is the types of investor actually uh, we have in this uh, so-called stock investment okay so thank you for watching thank you for joining Carolyn's, Wen Chun's, Kingsley, Danny, Craig, uh, Wei Chong, Esmond, Winnie see you guys again thank you